There are more solid reasons to think this will happen than just a guess. What makes this situation even more appealing? It happens at the same time as Ripple Labs. A lot of people think that the buyback happened because Ripple said it would buy back about $1 billion worth of XRP from its circulation supply. And any possible escrow burn could have something to do with the company's deal with the SEC and the fact that Ripple still needs XRP. That's why the buyback is happening and what will happen if Ripple's escrow burns this badly. It was planned to burn the whole XRP account. From what I've learned, the value of XRP could go above $10,000 per token because Ripple Labs is making more and more alliances that need XRP to support them. And before we talk about today's topic, this means that a value of $10,000 per XRP might be needed for Ripple Labs to keep working and growing. Before we start, let's do some cleaning. Could you please do me a huge favor and hit the like button, subscribe and notifications to join our lively community. A lot of stories have said the same thing, pointing out that Ripple's cross-border payment partnerships could help XRP hit $10,000. A big rise in the value of XRP is not only possible, but may even be necessary because Ripple's global relationships are growing and becoming more dependent on XRP's growth. Recent reports, some of which have been leaked, show that the company is expanding around the world, and the public in particular agrees with this. BlackRock has said that they plan to use XRP to make payments across borders. The important parts of this study are highlighted here, with a focus on XRP's growing role as a globalized cross-border payment service. The Central Bank of Ireland just recently said that they would be using XRP for deals across borders, which will speed up this trend. The fact that this happened only proves that XRP is a reliable and useful payment method. But it also makes it clear that Ripple, the company that made XRP, has a registered digital asset. This is a big confirmation of XRP's potential in the financial industry that fits with the world market as a service provider. The Central Bank of Japan has started to use XRP for payment options around the world. In a bigger picture, this fits in. As more than 30 central banks are working together to make a digital currency based on XRP right now, the data that was made public says that these 19 central banks have bought XRP for a total of more than $9.4 billion. That amount does not even include the Federal Reserve's possible use of the technology. The Fed now takes payments right away. It's impossible to overstate how important it is for the U.S. Federal Reserve to fully buy XRP and Ripple Labs. And this is a clear sign that people are becoming more confident in XRP's technology and its usefulness for modern financial tasks. If people in stores start buying Blockbull XRP, it will change the financial situation for the Federal Reserve, which wants to take advantage of the Ripple Net system speed and eco-friendliness. As a result of the global trend toward having major central banks in over eight countries, including the UK, this approach is especially relevant. The XRP ledger and digital assets are in the process of making a standard CBDC central bank digital currency. Countries that work with Ripple laboratories have already adopted the Ripple Net system and the XRP ledger. This shows that the Federal Reserve is interested in blockchain technology. One of their stories says that the Federal Reserve now works with Metal Blockchain to make quick and stable coin to fiat currency exchanges. This is a big step toward combining traditional banking with decentralized finance. At the moment, U.S. citizens can only make fast payments within the country using third-party apps like Venmo and PayPal and digital wallets for cryptocurrencies. But the Fed is working on plans to include cryptocurrencies in its system right now. They have said in public that XRP and XLM could play a big role in the blockchain part of their feed now payment system. Over 120 organizations, including newcomers like us, Bank Exchange Bank, and several payment processors and solution providers are already using this platform. If Ripple is eventually integrated into the Fed, which is already running, it could be a big change in the field of digital finance. Ripple is one of the fintech companies being looked at for this project. It is known for its open source distributed ledger technology and advanced ways to send money across borders. It is well known that Stellar Lumens XLM has a blockchain-based payment network that makes transfers faster and cheaper. One more company on the list of possible partners for FedNow is Global Transactions. Finally, we're back to the two main points of our talk. The chance that XRP will soon be worth $10,000 and the likely burning of a lot of XRP by Ripple Labs. The XRP digital asset will go through a major turning point when these two things come together. The estimated mass burn of XRP from Ripple Labs could cause the price of XRP to hit its $10,000 goal. Matt Hamilton, who used to be the head of Ripple, has made this expectation even stronger. By claims made by Matt Hamilton, a former director of Ripple, that the company could burn all of its XRP because it was still in court with the SEC. This information is very important for its escrow wallet because it hints that a burn like this could be part of a future settlement deal. This can mean a lot of different things. It's amazing how many transactions XRP is supposed to be able to handle. There are over 1.2 quadrillion worth of transactions just in the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, ISD. Because of the large number and value of these transactions, each XRP must be worth $10,000. Not only could a huge drop in the supply of XRP make its price go up to $10,000, but both individual and institutional buyers would want it more than ever before. This is because more and more people want to use digital assets like XRP for cross-border payments. 
This piece gives a short summary of the goals, which makes it clear that XRP wants to allow transactions worth more than $1.2 quadrillion USD. That's only one part of the story, though. This number doesn't even take into account the other important people and processes that XRP is likely to affect. It doesn't include the fact that SWIFT could use XRP to make payments, plans by SBI to send more XRP to P2 people in Southeast Asia, and big purchases by banks like JP Morgan and BlackRock. These possibilities make me think that XRP will be worth a lot more in the future than it is now. Remember that I'm not a professional financial consultant. Content in these videos is only meant to be watched for fun. People who watch my videos should always do their own study and talk to experts before making any financial decisions. Thanks a lot if you like the movie. Please pay attention. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Make sure that the alerts are turned on. I want to know right away when new stuff comes out that I can't wait to watch. I hope you like the video that's coming up.